The other one I wanted to show off, but it's kind of hard to do, is like an unblockable proton cannon. Proton. Oh! Oh! Got it! Oh my god, let's go! That was unblockable. <laughs> what is up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we are back with a an interesting video it's the top nine things that happened in mars capcom 2 that you might not realize but these are things that happen in probably competitive play casual play and you probably don't know why it happened so i'm here to explain why it happened how to recreate it and everything like that so if you guys want to see the action hit the like share subscribe turn on the bell notification and let's get into the video Jin. A lot of times when you have a hard knockdown situation, people just get you like, oh, it's a hard knockdown. So you so you could continue to combo or whatever, right, guys? But if you mash out while you're hard knockdown, you get up quicker. So making these hard knockdown OTG combos, not real combos. They actually become fake. They actually become combos that just does not work if you mash out properly. So Jin does blow to a punch. When he does blow to your punch, he sends you flying screen and he can pick you up like that. But if you mash out while you're getting hit like this, see, he gets up faster. Yeah. So if you mash out, you actually get out faster. It misses. Let me show you another character that it's probably more common compared to Jin. So when Hulk does head crush, you do this. And that's what you see, right? You see the gamma crush. And that hits. Now, what happens if you mash? See, it doesn't work. Right? So it doesn't work. So that's something that people don't really, I guess, miss out on. They don't realize and everything like that. So another thing is that people, I see this a lot in tournaments, right? How do you fight against kill in mirror match? Every, of course, you have to be more careful because you're scared of this. You're scared of hyper viper beam. Grabs is like your best damage with cable versus cable mirror match, right? But what I do see a lot of people do, they always try to do tick throws. You actually cannot tick throw cable in the mirror match. You can't tick throw cable in general. So if you try to do low jab into grab, it like this does not work. That's what usually happens. You have to kind of wait and then you grab because cable has so much hit stun that like it just doesn't work. He has more hits than compared to other characters. So if I brought in like, let's say Gambit or whatever, see, I can grab him way faster. So it's hard to grab Cable compared to other characters in the game. Another interesting one is uh, Commando. You know, I know a lot of people complain about Commando assists, right? You gotta, well, I'm gonna try to get this. There's a sweet spot where the cord, you can you can hit the corridor before the corridor comes out. So Commando is like has a has a has a sweet spot. It's obviously hard to do, but he does have a sweet spot. I wouldn't recommend it, but I just want to show it off. You see that? The sweet spot. It's so tough, but you you see, I mean I did it I did it once. There we go. I did another one. So, so, so that's another thing that you can do. A commando does have a sweet spot that people don't really talk about. Best anti assist that people always talk about. There's a sweet spot where you can actually do can snuff him. And, you know, it's something that a lot of people don't talk about. So when you see situations like that, it's like, why did I lose there? I don't know why I lost there, but now you know why Why did you lost there? So another situation is the one, fa the one thing you see a lot is uh, America's favorite DHC. Okay, you got combo. Boom, boom, boom. Now, I want you to look very closely at this. You know how Smash Butter is. There's actually DI, directional influence, meaning if you hold a direction, you can actually get the character like to to shiftly move left and right while getting hit. So you can actually do that in Marvel 2. So while you're getting hit by specific combos, you saw me earlier. I just fell down straight, right? So if I held forward while getting hit by this combo, Watch this. See, like I move, I move a little bit of forward. Obviously, depending on the character and depending on like the timing of the DHC, if you can, you can change it where it actually misses the character. See, look at that. I fell. Why did I fall out? I held back later, so I started my directional influence midway. A lot of times when you see like people miss out DACs and everything, like why did they drop out? It's because of the directional influence within the game. Another thing is sometimes your assist doesn't do anything. So if I did this, 
Cyclops will come out, right? If you press your attack button at the same time character does the assist, your assist will just come out and do a taunt instead of the actual action of the assist. And stuff like this can happen. Right, where you can go for like that type of stuff. People were like, oh, he just came in and just like kind of did a taunt. But they don't know why it happens, right? So I just wanted to explain to people why it specifically happens. So this one where you can actually force stand your assist. If you get somebody doing a snapback right here. Oh, well, you get that. So usually you get something like that, right? Hi. There we go. Right? And it still counts as the combo. <laughs> so that still counts as the combo. Why would you do that though? Because sometimes the timing, let's say if it's like a scattered assist and everything like that, like let's say you called out commando and or whatever, you just dashed in light, light. Like you could probably get them grounded instead of just kind of launch because your launch might be too slow. So situations like that can happen, right? So because of that, like that, that's something that people probably like, oh, what a catch. But they don't know why did it restand. So this one's an interesting one. Usually every assist performs how it's supposed to perform. But for some reason, Storm's lightning attack assist actually is, is different. So now, usually if you do lightning attack, you see that? It'll, it'll usually go that direction. But the lightning attack, you can actually control the lightning attack, which is actually quite interesting. So you can actually get out as different like scenarios. I, usually I use this against like cable. But this actually works well with, with storm assist. So you can actually get out of situations like this, right? So that's actually quite good. So that's kind of like the the only assist that I know to my knowledge that like really changes. If you tech grabs in the air, even if you're in super jump, you're considered to be in normal jump state. And because you're in normal jump state, you only have one air action to do before you can't block. So picture this. Yeah, that's, that, that's not a real combo. It's just that's just a setup. You see, like, so in that situation, if I I can guard break the opponent after they tech my grab. See that I can't block there. It's actually mad cheap. If you're aware of that, like a lot of times you can like, it's, it's still your turn in those situations. That's why I kind of like my team because I can always grab with Cyclops. And then if they tech the grab, the gene splice is a meaty. So they have to block the hit. And then I guard break them automatically because they lost their air action. They can't press a button uh, because their air action is gone. You can actually always do supers and cancel into flight mode, even if you don't have any air actions. But usually in general, all your air actions are completely gone in terms of like button presses and like mo most special moves, I would say. The other one I wanted to show off, but it's kind of hard to do is like an unblockable proton cannon. So if you do proton cannon against a character that's like coming in from like the air, if you DHC right before the proton cannon hits, so let's say hailstorm right before it hits, the po opponent will get hit. Proton oh, oh. Oh my god, let's go! That was unblockable. <laughs> oh my god, let's go. Yeah, that's unblockable. That was unblockable Proton Cannon DHC. For some reason, you just can't block it. That's crazy that I pulled it off. Wow. I was, I'm actually quite happy about that. Hidden interactions that happens in matches that people don't realize that happened. Let me ask you guys a question. Did you guys enjoy kind of like this little tidbit information that I knew and maybe you just didn't know about? Like, was it like a good learning experience and cool to see? Because like, I, I do would like to try for like other games as well, too. 